welcome back in this video we're gonna try to solve this equation in the set of complex numbers note here that we have this number z minus i over z plus i cubed plus z minus i over z plus i squared plus z minus i over z plus i plus 1 equals 0 and uh, i think uh, an uh, easy way to solve this one is to change or let uh, some other variable be z minus i over z plus i. That's what we're gonna do here. So first we let uh, uh, let y be z minus i over z plus i. Okay. So we first solve this one here. So once we do that, we're gonna have this new equation y cubed plus y squared plus y plus 1 is 0, okay, with y a complex number. So here we can solve this equation by factoring. We note that we can factor out by y squared here to get y plus 1 plus y plus 1 equals 0. And after that, we can factor out by y plus 1 to get y plus 1 times y squared plus y plus 1 is 0. Okay, here we can solve, we get y plus 1 is 0, or y squared plus 1 is 0. This first equation will give us y is minus 1. This one, we know that the solutions are either i or minus i. So, therefore, now we can solve, okay? So, we get three cases, okay? So, when we have z minus i over z plus plus i is uh, minus 1. So here, because this is y, y is minus 1, and we set y equals uh, equal z minus i over z plus i. So here, we, we multiply, we get z minus i is minus z minus i. And uh, therefore, if we, uh, if we add, we're going to get z is 0. Okay, so that means if we add plus i to both sides and add in plus z to both sides, we get 2z is 0, that means z is 0. This is the first solution. Now let's say that we have z minus i over z plus i is uh, i. We multiply and we get uh, z minus i is i z plus i squared, which is minus 1. If we add, we're going to get 1 minus i times z is i minus 1, which is minus 1 minus i, therefore z is minus 1. Okay? So we get the solutions. Now, if we let, uh, if we let z minus i over z plus i equal minus i, we get z minus i is minus i z uh, plus 1. This means that 1 plus i z is equal to 1 plus i. And this means that z is just 1. Okay? So we get our solutions. So we get uh, minus 1, 0, and 1. Okay? So to go and check the solutions, we can go back to our equation. We know that the set of solutions is given by minus 1, 0, 1. We can plug z equal uh, minus 1, 0, or 1. And we check that all of them satisfy this equation. Therefore, the set of solutions is minus 1, 0, and 1. Okay? So we had to change this variable here to get into this equation. We solved this equation, and after that, we went back and we checked all the three solutions, and we get uh, uh, 0, minus 1, and 1. Okay? Thank you very much. If you see any errors or mistakes, please let me know. Enjoy the video.